my first time being in a Cecil video, and I'm gonna crack under pressure. Oh no. Why is my file like corrupted? I think this is okay. I'm nervous as but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Cecil here bringing us another episode of Design Royale, but this time we're doing a little logo edition. Basically, Design Royale is the hottest TV show on YouTube where we take eight different contestants with the same exact design brief and have them go head to head, move on to four after that, then move on to two, and those two 1v1 with a completely different brief, and uh, we get somewhere really cool, we crown a champion. The brief that these guys are working with for round one is for a company known as Aim Assist. For the record, not a real company, but our product is based to provide gamers with the ultimate experience to protect their coordination, and reflexes. Our software stimulates the look and feel of popular FPS games, which features that are designed for users to improve over time. We are looking for a memorable logo that represents the gaming community. It should feel aggressive, mechanical, and or respected. Our color scheme should feel powerful, but approachable. And with that, these guys will have one hour and 15 minutes to design and presentate their actual logos. And this is who we have today. Starting off with David, who is a visual communications and business major at Kansas University. Zopix, who is a CEO and founder of Vexo Org. Vortech, who is a logo slash DJ slash golf lover who's worked with people like Nick Merckx, Riot Games, Luminosity, Homescope, who is currently going for phase one, who's a graphic design content creator with over 150K followers on TikTok. Then we have Ray Branding, who is an illustration slash typography creator, working with agencies known as Mass Identity and Insom Pro, Dewey Thomas, who's a branding specialist and lead designer over at Official Team War, Jeremy Muro, who is a branding identity designer and educator, who also teaches brand design over at YouTube and Skillshare, you guys should definitely check him out. And and finally, Ike Designs, who's a freelance graphic and motion designer over in France. And of course, just like episode one, they also have perks. The new one this episode being Sabotage. The Sabotage-er can choose one person to not design for one minute straight. Critique, they get a one minute live critique from George or feedback wherever they are on the design currently, and they can only use it in challenge number one. So uh, let's go ahead and get this thing started. Three, two, one, start design. You guys have one hour, let's get it. I'm gonna find a way to turn a crosshair into something that is iconic or memorable in a way. This process takes, you know, a few days for me. <laughs> I'm thinking right now we just put on the glove, put this keyboard to the side, grab the tablet, and here we go. Well, I guess this is where I uh, draw. All right, boys. One hour, what do we do? <laughs> okay, George, what's up, man? Welcome I... to episode two. I'm so excited for this episode. There's so many talented people. Dude, this is gonna be dip. There's some. There's some heavy, heavy hitters in this video. I'm excited. I'm. I'm just curious how they're all gonna start it up. We, we've of course threw this brief into like the idea of having like a competitor to Aim Labs. So like, I'm. I'm curious on how much inspiration they're gonna take from it. What are they gonna do about it? And how the research process is gonna look? I mean, are they gonna do like text logos? I'm just excited about it. I don't know about you guys. Let's jump into it. Pretty bad sketches so far, but you kind of see what I'm getting at. I'm trying to find a way to combine the graphs and the crosshair. Here we have some some keywords, and let's just kind of sketch out some basic things that I get from these. See, I have kind of an idea of where I want to go with this. I'm thinking that I kind of want to like do something like this, maybe almost like a bullet coming off, I think. So we're thinking there's going to be a scope or some sort of reticle like this. And if you look at a scope, you already have an A symbol that's hiding inside of it. You could already kind of see the A right there. Man, it's always hard picking fonts. Like there's just so many fonts and you just want to get the right vibe and feeling. That's what I'm doing. You're doing like a type wall. Hopefully I find something. Hope the judges are kind today. <laughs> Well, everyone's gonna go for a circle. And I think that triangles would be a lot better because then I can integrate it as a type phase. I can't really make a mascot out of this. I'm a, I'm a mascot guy. So I'm gonna go for a kind of an aggressive A. I would want to include like a crosshair or something, but I don't know if that, that will work with the style I'm going with. I'm thinking, I'm thinking like maybe you have a sort of angle, just like leaning to the side. Uh, I actually like this a lot. Then I can go for like a more like devious type of look. What the heck is Ray doing? Do you see Ray's? <laughs> this guy is going crazy. It reminds me, it's almost like a mascot, which is kind of cool. Like it has a little little character to it. And just like that, we're already at 10 minutes that gone by. To be honest, we're doing pretty solid. So like 10 minutes just went by, 50 minutes left. Let's keep Let's just continue doing it. This is actually insane. Oh God, look at that. Look at that notification. The notification of 10, bro. <laughs> 10 minutes already. Sheesh. Bro, already 10 minutes? Hell nah. 
Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this. It's literally evil, because no matter what we pick, there's someone out there who's gonna be like, you should have picked this. That's the point, guys. They're not terrible. They're, you guys are literal professionals. So if you guys have your own favorites, don't forget to comment and just like show them support, because I'm sure they're gonna love it. You know, even though they're knocked out, you know, we all know it's all fun and games. So just let them know that you, you think their concept's cool, or maybe you want to order from them. Huh? Huh? Seem to be in a little bit of a pickle here, going into the uh, 15 minute mark. The pressure laying on Homescope right now, trying to make it through this first round i think i think this is the final i just need to refine the, the sketch up a bit more and then i can vector and then add colors i think a bullet going through is gonna be much better it'll cost me some time but uh we'll make it work Whew, okay first thing i want to try is the triangle thing because that's pretty simple so i have different options for a triangle that naturally creates that naturally creates a crosshair you can't see the eye oh no <laughs> big brain johnny coming out Ooh. And I feel like that's uh, more memorable than what I had going on. I could play with some orange on this. And with just like that, it's 20 minutes down already. But these guys are looking like real, real solid. By the end of the 30 minutes, I'm going to need to have something vectored. I can still go for another like strong idea. I think I'll go with that. It's a really clean, simple professional. I, I mean, it's kind of aggressive. Like it could work. What kind of color should we go with? I think that's pretty important that we haven't gone to or got to already. Honestly, for the colors, I think I'm going to go with, with the pink. See, I like this first part. I hate this. So I will just do what any logical person would do. Get the toxicity out of your life. I just got a sabotage notice from Holmes. He wants to sabotage Dewey. So Dewey cannot design for one minute. We're going to check his screen and make sure he's not designing. Bro, which one of you? <laughs> You bastards. If I lose, it's because of that. All right, Dewey's good. Ray, what's up? I would dedicate more effort into the icon than getting it to match the type perfectly. David, what's up? I will say I wouldn't overcomplicate it. The ones that you want to work with, they look cool and I think it gives you more flexibility, but you might have a little bit too much detail. And just like that, we're, we're at 20 minutes now. We're looking pretty solid by everybody. Actually, I'm kind of rocking with it. Okay, there's one thing that I don't like. I think it's the eye. Hey, George. Hey, Dewey, what's up? Let's see what you got. So I think the concepts and the meaning behind each mark is good. I just think as far as the brief goes, maybe they're not aggressive enough. Jeremy, what's up? I think the only thing that I'm struggling with is that the cuts in the type maybe feel a bit inconsistent. Maybe I can combine these. This might be stupid. I don't know if I can get this off in time. Oh, dude, I hate it. I feel like I actually need to take a step back. Like, I hope. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a shot of mark. I'm going to go into After Effects. And we're going to start doing the presentation. 10 minutes left. Now it's getting really sketchy. And I ate this. Uh, now that might be the finisher right there. And just like that, we're at five minutes. Everyone's looking pretty good. You can't make any dramatic changes at this point. I think work on presentation now and just hope for the best. If I were to make a choice right now, it's between the green one and the orange one. If you're asking for aggressive and mechanical my choice goes to the orange uh, i'm i'm just not sure some things feel off but i don't know why what oh i'm conflicted man all right come on lock it in john one minute left that's that's it we're almost, we're almost done well i'm done i think this one has some sort of aggression because it's bold it's, it's kind of in your face it's slanting forwards yeah i think we're done for the logo part yeah, that's not too bad i'm actually i'm actually okay with this i'm so not convinced i ate it i didn't have time to finish Stop it on mute. That is it. No more designing. All right. Oh, baby. <laughs> Gamers. Let's go. Let's oh, go. Oh, my God, bro. Okay, so with that, no more designing. You guys will now have 15 minutes to work on your presentation. And for the record, that does include color. So you could mess with color, but no actual changes to the logo, okay? Okay, Homescope, you're one minute late. He's sabotaging you, bro. You can't design when we say go, Holmes. That's what that is. Three, two, one. Start your presentations. All right, Um, one minute. Can I open up Photoshop at least? I need like a really solid color. I think I'm going to go with like something like blue already been started my presentation i think i'm gonna add a little bit of smoothing to the scale of this okay so what i'll try to do for the presentation i will do like a couple poster damn ike's getting me good right here too oh i'm actually kind of stressing a little bit oh i didn't mean to do 
that? Whoa! A hippo. They're like one of the deadliest creatures. These are, these is called metaphors. <laughs> it's like a dark pink, a similar color. And with that though, that's 10 minutes remaining. So we're looking okay, but some people don't even have images yet. All right, we're in hyperdrive mode. Oh, that looks awful. Okay. No way, bro. My Photoshop's crashed. And with that, we're already at five minutes. Like, Oh my god. I'm I'm so oh my god, I lost so much time on this and I'm not even using it. I think we're good on this. So I'm gonna put this into media encoder and while that's setting up, I'm gonna have this be the final mark. This is the kind of shit, like you you throw it in your design and you regret it forever, so I don't think I should. Oh no, David's render messed up, I think. Yeah, he's gotta go back and redo it. Oh no. Why is my file like corrupted? Did my did scaling what even happened? I'm actually kind of nervous. I'm actually not really. I feel pretty comfy right now. I was very nervous at first, but uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Why is it not working? Why is it not working? That's it. I'm locking it in. That's all I've got. All right. I think this. Uh, I think this might be solid. And that's it, baby. That's how you do it. That's it. Time's up. Time's up. Time is up. All right. So that is it. So now it's time to get a little bit of explanation from everyone. Starting off with Ike. Being mechanical, being being aggressive. To me, the best shape for that would be a triangle, right? It looks like an A shape at the end. I feel like it works really nice. What about you, Vortex? Tried to probably represent an A the best I could. Uh, obviously, aim. So crosshair. Started with a plus. Got try to get two A's out of it. Try to make it more dynamic with the bullet going through. Dave, what about you? It's your amazing presentation that unfortunately got a little render issue. It's okay. We're not going to critique yeah, we're just just just, just you. close your eyes while you look at that. <laughs> but uh, going into it, I think I landed on the same crosshair or uh, reticle kind of style, trying to like find how I can make that somewhat interesting. But I wanted to make sure that it still like shows that aggressive feel with different size of triangles. Yeah, I think it looks incredible. What about you, Zopex? I didn't want to do like a hit marker uh, only, so I did a a like a, the letter A letter mark. Uh, I put a slice in the font, so uh, it gives like uh, more movement and it, it keep the aggressive vibe. Holmes, what about you, bro? Going into it, I knew that obviously from the brief that I wanted to go for more of that gaming aggressive style. So I thought back to one logo that I did relatively recently, which was a redesign of Zara's logo. And I had this style where it had these really sharp edges in this bold font. I'm going to use that style. So I literally grabbed the A from that and started making my own custom logo type for aim through that. And ah. I knew that for assist, it would come naturally just to find any sort of font to kind of fit with that. What about you, Dewey? My idea was kind of wavering a bit to begin with from like the crosshair or a reticle and started to look at the FPS aspect. So like cascading wind or frames. Color-wise, I try to draw influence from nature. So you have the deep purple from like hippopotamus and then like a, a tiger I feel like is quite, or lion is quite aggressive. So I try to use those sort of color schemes. Ray, what about you, brother? When I was going into the design, I was like, you know what? People are probably gonna go with the circle or rectangle or uh, square. So I said, hey, let's go with the triangle. Honestly, I just made something look cool. All right, what about you, Jeremy? Yeah, so for me, I just thought of like aimbot and like crosshairs. So I went for sort of an abstract crosshair and then I started thinking of like, how can I use the A as just an, a mark by itself. So with that though, I mean, this is gonna be a little bit difficult. So me and Joe are gonna go in and judge on our own time. You guys can sit here, be fun, be nice to each other. And uh, we're gonna come back and see which four of you guys end up moving on. And uh, with you, I, this, I, I'm sorry, just ahead of time. <laughs> What do we do? What did we do? <laughs> One that stood out to me the most, and I think the overall kind of like, we have to, I think it makes the most sense. It's very mechanical, it's very iconic, it's very instantly a classic, and that for me is Ray. What yeah, do you think? I, yeah, I, I knew you were gonna say Ray, and I agree with you. I, I think he has to go through. It's it's honest, it's it, like, what else can you ask for? It has a vibe to it already. One person that stood out to me was Ike's. His hits all the points. I think the presentation also serves it really well it's already starting to explore like a potential pattern design style it's got a catchphrase mock-up like it's got everything that you need really i really like and this is exactly what i thought was going to happen home sculpts presentation feels like a deck that you would send to a client david i personally enjoy the style but it might still be leaning on a little bit too generic something about jeremy's design feels a little bit too unbalanced for me it's looking kind of at the inconsistencies and the Cuts, they feel a little bit thrown onto the type. They don't feel like they were originally meant to be there. Let's talk about Dewey's for a second. I He, he had it kind of like, he gave us a whole storyline with his. You get the sketches. We have the actual color scheme and all that good stuff. I think it doesn't feel as powerful and mechanical as I want to. All right, let's say this to each other. Vortech and Zopix, they, they kind of have the same idea of like this abstract feel. Who would you rather put forth? 
with them two in mind. Just comparing Vortec and Zopix, Vortex shows more potential. It feels classic and I could already see this being like a really established brand. It reminds me of brands like Razer. I think I think we might have an idea. Let's just let's just see. Let's, okay, I think I got I think we got it. So with that, that does mean David, Ike, Vortec, and Ray are all going on to the second round. We're gonna do a whole different brief, a whole new look. However, can we please in the comments give a like for everyone else? You guys did fantastic. You guys are all incredible. I hope you guys know that. And uh, yeah, let's just let's see what happens in the next round. All right, so here's the next brand brief. It's a brand called Extended, and they are aiming to connect streetwear culture with the gaming community and are looking for either an iconic logo mark or logo type that speaks to both industries. It should represent classic streetwear trends in a way that young gamers would be aesthetically drawn to. Their products will include peripherals and apparel that take inspiration from urban and classic video game designs. For the color scheme, they're looking for retro influence that doesn't feel corny or cliche. They don't have a preference on a specific color palette, but are open to either muted or vibrant tones. Let's get this started. Three, two, one, start designing. Uh, one of the first things I think about is arrows. I just think of like arrows extending, showing extension. I need to show the act of extension. I feel like that's a really strong start. The name does give me some inspiration, right? Uh, stretchy types are often a trendy thing to do in gaming and in streetwear. So the name extended already tells me that you could go for some ultra wide fonts and, and just like stretch them even more. Now, I know for a fact everyone's gonna stretch the text kind of emphasize extended. I have two ideas for this. I want to go with an arrow, it being like extended in a sense. Is, is that weird? I'm gonna look at a bunch of colors. Like that could be something cool. I'm thinking something like sketchy, but kind of like this. Something kind of like, you know, street worry. Don't know how, don't know why, don't know when. Don't know anything, man. Oh, okay. Vibrant is what I'm going for. I'm gonna definitely try this because I feel like it speaks to gamers a lot more. Just just stretch the hell out of that. And then that will fit nicely on a sleeve or um, it really has a lot of ways it can go. Uh, and then this could be used as a pattern that you would extend infinitely. Oh, oh, something just popped in my head and that being that it's streetwear, everybody loves, loves like the idea of tagging them. But I want to do this. Oh, dude, this would be sick, actually. I'm going to go for like a Street Fighter vibe. OK, we'll go with this for now. We gotta get vectoring. With that though, guys, we're at 35 minutes remaining. It's gonna, it's we're cutting it close, but it's looking pretty good so far. Designing on top of the products immediately instead of just working on a blank canvas is probably gonna give me a, a bit more inspiration and just realize more quickly what works and what doesn't work. Purple like that, purple's a very gamer color, right? If I can maybe find a logo type that works with this, I might seal the deal. I think I maybe made, I may have gone a little bit too blue. I'm not gonna cap. That's better. I like that. It's barely changed, I think. I don't even know if I changed anything at all. But we're going to keep that um, as the final mark. This just blew my mind. David, the arrows is representing extension. That's actually sick. Personally, I just think it's so sick. I wonder what this would look like. Oh, God, never mind. Oh. <laughs> and this is what I meant with the uh, strong pattern that lends itself to, uh, to apparel easily it just this is just adidas stripes but with a wave on them and with that i think we're at 15 minutes remaining okay we're almost there 15 minutes left okay okay so now i'm gonna add the tagline in our font dude i don't know what i like better gosh dan i really like this i think i'm just gonna stick with this one i don't know which is more retro now with six minutes remaining I, they're all looking really good this is gonna be a tough one but like six minutes i don't even know what you would do at this point maybe not change anything besides work on a little bit of presentation like what do you think george at this point it seems like that's what everyone's focused on i mean everyone i think finished their logos with 20 minutes to spare. So we're seeing some really crazy stuff. Cinema 4D, mock-ups, we're seeing logo presentation, color exploration. It's really going all over the place right now. He's in Cinema 4D, boys. <laughs> oh, Just so you guys God. know, he's what in Cinema God. 4D. <laughs> One thing I can do is also bring these shapes in to show in front okay and now the keyboard the keyboard needs to be more special right now it's uh it's the center piece but it doesn't have enough and what i'm gonna do for the keyboard is just like take this color and kind of 
draw a wavy pattern on top of it. Give me a warning. I'm going with this. I'm going with this. I like this. I honestly don't know. I, I've been messing with this for the past few minutes. I think I've been done for a while and I just don't know what else to do. Um, I'm losing my train of thought, man. It's hard to it's hard to like keep at it while doing this. And that's it. I'm calling it done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Must make little adjustments. I think this is okay. I'm nervous as but I don't think it's going to be enough. All right. That is it. Time is up. You guys did amazing. Now, of course, comes the 15 minute presentation part where you guys are gonna have the another 15 minutes to get the presentation all good and go. Three, two, one, start designing. I'm losing, I'm losing steam. I'm not gonna lie. Definitely, definitely gonna get some t-shirts going. I could have made like a way better like logo, like icon to go with this. I've got 15 extra minutes to do presentation, but I've already finished my main mock-up. Hey, why not? Why not? Let's do this. Um, let's just crop this to a square, I guess. I don't have time to do what I wanted to do. No, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm literally, I don't know. I'm done. Just messing around with the presentation here and there. I mean, I, I made it better. I really hope this exported correctly. I don't, I'm not even going to be able to check, but that's it. I don't really know what to do. Uh, I mean, there's a lot to do, but I don't think I can do it in time. There's a reason I'm a logo designer. That is it. Time is up. You guys can save, send it over so me and George can judge it. But you guys, I killed it. Like, literally killed it. I have no other words besides the fact that I have to figure out some words to do because I got to judge it. So let's figure this thing out. Okay, George, it is now time. We got to pick our two contestants that move on for the 1v1 and the possibility of getting crowned a Design Royale champion. Now, giving it the first look, everyone kind of everyone kind of went kind of crazy. This challenge was more of a flex than anything. So David's concept was very cool with the showcasing extended. I think it was a really unique interpretation. I think the presentation was killer. The, the arrow is kind of like showcasing an expression of being extended, like almost using iconography as a word of expression. It's brilliantly placed, I think. The color is, is the only awkward factor for me. I feel like the teal is a little bit in this realm of like corporate design. Honestly, I think that David's presentation was super, super great. And there was a lot of thought put into like the brand style he had in mind but I just don't know if it connects enough to gaming and streetwear. Now, looking at Vortex, I mean, he has a very, very strong, like very expressive word of extension, spelled out with a nice little arrow as through the X, and it just has like so much character in my opinion. Also, one of the only ones I feel like that explored a lot of different in the, in the terms of color scheme, he, he actually, I mean, come on, like he has, he has blue, he had like pink at one point. I mean, it, it would have worked, I think personally, either way with this color scheme that he has right now. The beige, orange, teal, dark blue, white kind of feel, that's a lot of different colors. They all kind of sit during that vibrance or muted tone, which you asked for in the brief. Hits it pretty well, in my opinion. It definitely feels like street influenced with the grunge, but I can see it being appealing to people in the gaming community. So I think he checked a lot of boxes in my case. Of course, you have Ray with like an extension, extended word, one half being this really cool urban, just like very streetwear, grungy look, and the other half being a really clean, modern, almost not, I wouldn't even say techie look, but just kind of like just a clean and modern look. It's a, it's a very, very appealing look. I mean, I haven't personally seen something like this before, like using the actual two different brands ideas and identities put into the logo as a literal thing that's a pretty that's a pretty dope look i think the logo mark the icon with the x representing what's in the logo type also feels very seamless so i really liked his execution in particular and seeking another seamless and cool execution was Ike. I mean, this dude started off with the actual design branding of the extended. I mean, I, he went for the kind of idea of using, I guess, influence of like Adidas and right with like the stripe idea, you know, using the pattern and celebrating through the entire design. And of course the actual logo itself, which is of course what we're critiquing on, is a fun idea of using this kind of like line, swiggle line for the E being that the most celebratory part. It's very strong in my opinion. It's very strong. It's even better in the presentation, in my opinion. Beats me how we're going to choose, to be honest. Let me, All right. Let me guess, Sesso. It's going to be a tough it's... choice. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you, you got me. It's not that. It's really not that easy. Okay. So, okay. Okay, dude. Okay. George, just take it away. Obviously, I try to stick through to the brief and what we were expecting initially. With that in mind, there was a design that I thought worked really, really well, but maybe didn't fit the brief 
as we had hoped. I think that person is David. So that's when I loved your design. I think it was mostly to do with the color scheme and then the, uh, the mock-ups feels a little too separated from gaming and street culture, but I think the mark itself had potential if it was showcased uh, maybe in a more chaotic way or in a way that ha feels more tense. So George, okay, with with one eliminated, who do you think was who, who was our who was our who was our go-to for this? Who's gonna move on for the actual one v ones? When I was looking at the brief, someone that stood out to me and hit every single point, they were able to relate to streetwear. They were able to relate to gaming, and the design felt like it connected to both really well. Person that I'm going to move forward is Ray. Uh, I said, I, I think that the interpretation of blending the two together was done very seamlessly where it's, it's literally 50, 50, but using the N as a transition between the two different styles just felt right. And I think the logo mark with the X also felt relatable to the logo type. So it took the same theme and applied it into a single mark. And I think it was done. It was executed really, really well. So with that, that leaves us with Ike and Vortech as our potentials. Who's, who, who do you guys, right now, comment down who you guys think are gonna win. Is it gonna be Vortech? Is it gonna be Ike? Uh, I, just wanna, I wanna see what your opinions are, cause Loki, it's, it, it was so difficult, I swear. The person that's gonna be moving on, facing Ray in the 1v1 and being crowned our next Design Royale champion for logo design in this case, uh, will be, Vortech. Holy so shit. So we went with Vortech. It, it had this brilliant mind of just kind of, for one, your color scheme was like beautiful. Yeah, you kind of hit the, the the modern kind of like, how do you say, retro vibe -y kind of like vibrant, even mixing in dull colors in there. It had that perfect feel. For the record, I think your your presentation wasn't as quite, as quite great as David's was. And for one, David and Ike were like in our representation of like, they had brilliant presentations, great logos, but for you, I think the logo saying enough for us to see it in the, you know, in how it can be field and, and you know, used in the future and all that good stuff. So Vortech and Ray will be our 1v1s and we're not gonna say what we're doing just yet, but they're gonna be designing. But let's go ahead and see head to head Vortech versus Ray with our new brief and uh, let's just jump into it. Now for the championship 1v1, this brief is gonna be for a platform game known as Glitch. Glitch is an upcoming platform game similar to Mario, Kirby, and Sonic themed around time travel and the Middle Ages. A group of time travelers from the future find a glitch in their gear that transports them back to the medieval era. Using their extensive tech knowledge, they face off against enemies by building weapons utilizing the limited resources of the past. The keywords for this are dark but not menacing, futuristic yet medieval, and knowledge is your only power, so I have no idea how Vortech and Rare are gonna tackle this, but uh, let's see what happens. All right, guys, it is now time. Ray and Vortech are gonna battle out in a 1v1 to be crowned our next Design Royale champion. Are you guys ready? Yes. Let's go. Let's I'm, I'm ready, go. I'm ready. Okay, Let's go. three, two, one, design. I personally have a very, very, very clear idea. Well, I say clear, but I have like several ideas of what I'm gonna do with this. What I wanna do with that, being that it's a glitch concept, I wanna do like a past text, right? A present, like modern text and then a futuristic type with all of it saying glitch which i i know it may be like super complex but i can simplify i know i can i just know i can i'm thinking about uh pixelated glitch maybe not pixelated but like, uh like kind of like this all right george so i think we did a pretty good job in this brief i'm very very curious how they're gonna actually tackle this one but uh i, I don't know we did a pretty good job in my opinion yeah i mean the biggest challenge is gonna be finding way to make medieval and futuristic come together we it, like glitch would be too easy right so we had to throw in a curveball otherwise it, it's it would just look generic so we're gonna see what they come up with personally i have no idea how i would approach this so We'll see. We could take a note out of uh, what Loki's logo. Kind of like bring in the medieval and futuristic vibe. Or you know what could also work? Um, the past, for present, and future version of like gaming text. I think Ray has a harder concept to develop with his starting brief. So I'm curious what he's gonna go for. Try and make this a little bit more futuristic looking. Could probably do black lettering, medieval text. 
Yeah, that could even that could work. So 15 minutes have passed. There's 45 minutes left for the logo design part of the challenge. And what we've seen so far is really amazing. So we're gonna see where they go from here. That, that's what I'm gonna go with. Um, don't know what else to do. We have about what, 45 minutes? 45, that's it? Okay, uh, I think I got this. Dude, my hands are shaking. I gotta change up the G and C. What's a futuristic C? I guess we can just do this. I need to figure out something creative real fast. I actually think on Vortex end, the design is very cool. I think to make it feel like a video game, it's gonna have to rely a lot on color. Cause right now, Rays is definitely looking more like a platform game. So we'll see if Vortex can find a way around that. 30 minutes left. I think we got this, dude. I mean, let's just say I kind of have doubts that we'll win this, but hey, hope it's still there, dude. This is way different from what I do. I'm used to mascots, my man. Okay, now we're gonna try and find something real quick. A G and a C. Something futuristic. And just like that, 20 minutes remaining. I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm, are they gonna finish in time? Like low key, the time is like not long, but it's looking pretty good from both. I, that's all I'm gonna say. This is actually absurd. Dude, Ray's just finished his G. That took him four minutes. Like he has to do portals and then like animation and color. Like what? Oh, it's like one of those risk reward things, man. Like Ray has to know how much time is left. Like he's not oblivious. <laughs> <laughs> this could be a horse. I'm sorry, but is he adding a horse? <laughs> what? It's back to the drawing board. What the heck is going on? 10 minutes left. 10 minutes. Maybe add some glitches real quick. Try. Three minutes left! Three minutes left! All right, I think we're good. That's time. That's time. That is time. What the heck was that? What did I just witness? I have no idea. I kind of freaked out. I, I don't even understand what i just witnessed with that though i'm gonna i'm not gonna mess up your flow too much you guys have 15 minutes now to do your presentations have it all ready for us to view, uh, review and judge and uh, let's just get it started three two one continue designing so now i think i'm just gonna start going with the colors and they have to harmonize if they don't we're kind of screwed here so what i think i'm gonna go with which i think it's a very good color scheme the color change definitely I mean, instantly it feels like it's going instantly. through the portal now. And he knew the entire time. Trust He's the like, process. Oh wow. my goodness, man. These guys are so good. Okay. Uh, dude, I can't find any mockups. There's bait download buttons everywhere. Yeah, that, that gradient in the portal makes a very, very like, big difference. Are you, are you kidding me? This is the, oh, this is the best final. It's like a teeter-totter, bro. Honestly, I don't know what to do with this color scheme. I don't know what to do. I mean, I could go try to fix the colors again because there is some stuff I want to fix, but there's nothing I can do. Now. I honestly did mine pretty quick, so I kind of ran away with what I had and went through with it. I'm going to just try and get a background as best as I can. All right. Yo, what's up, Ray? Uh, yeah, I was standing idle for five minutes. I can't I find know. shit. <laughs> <laughs> so me and you're gonna hop in and just start judging this stuff and getting this all, getting this all looked at and uh, crown our champion. Let's do it. All right, George. So <laughs> this was an incredible watch. Let's start off with like, what are we looking at when we look at Ray's concept? So Ray, I think he did a good job showcasing the past, present, future concept he, he sketched up at the start. And I like the idea with the portals. It definitely feels like it relates the most to the brief. I think the biggest struggle for me might be with the execution. So the kerning on some of the letters, I think the colors get a little bit lost in some areas. If there's something to pick out, I think kerning and spacing and color 
could be better. But if we take a look at Vortex, right? Uh, we look over here. I mean, I, I appreciate the actual idea of like the more simplistic color, but to be fair, the mock-up isn't as strong on the cleared vision. If I'm being completely honest, I do think the idea of the glitch in the past and like the present, the whole thing kind of fits into this concept. Honestly, I was a little bit disappointed. I was expecting the colors to showcase maybe more of the futuristic element since I think that Vortex design definitely leans heavier towards the medieval aspect. Regardless, the the execution on the logo itself is done really well. I mean, the, there are so many different pieces that are going on all at once and I think every single letter interacts really, really well. It's just a matter of the mock-ups maybe fell through a little bit. So I think if we actually put the like logos up in only black and white, I feel like they both show a very clear idea of like the past and future. And if we take away the mock-ups, even though the mock-ups are a part of the judging, it just becomes less and less clear of who I think takes it. I think I know who I'm gonna pick. Yeah, I, I think, think so. I think I know, I think, we, I think, I think we're on the same page. All right. Okay, I'm, okay. Ray, Vortex, this was absolutely, absolutely, for the 40th time in this video, the hardest decision we've had to make. Uh, it's, it really was, it really, it really was very difficult because you guys approached the actual concept in your two different ways in like taking back everything in the actual briefing and like keeping everything in mind. Arr. This was tough. I mean, there's things we liked and things that we thought could be could be better on both ends, but uh, we're keeping the brief in mind, everything, all the information we provided for you guys, and we're gonna let that dictate the results. Our episode two logo edition of Design Royale champion is gonna be... Vortec. Holy shit. I had a incredible, like it was incredibly difficult to actually, like let's just take the juxtaposition really quick. They both have really great concepts. We feel as if the actual concept on Vortec is very polished and finished. And also take into account the brief of like this kind of dark but menacing uh, approach, the color scheme, even though the mock-up we're, we're being completely honest and clear in point, it's not the greatest. I do think it helps fit the brief a little bit better than Ray's concept, which was incredibly dope. Uh, I mean, the colors I think in Ray's are a little bit lacking in the sense of like contrast. Given time though, it's I'm sure with more time, these both of these could have been shipped out tomorrow and cost $2,000, $4,000 or even you know, produce. It's insane. But with that, <laughs> Vortec is our winner. I mean, it was difficult. But Vortec, you got anything to say? Dude, this was a blast. Like, I was so nervous at the very beginning, like, seeing all these guys' work and, like, just knowing going up against these guys is going to be a challenge. Every every time we started, I was just literally sweating. I, my palms were <laughs> sweaty, dude. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> All right, Ray, even though you were you came up short, I mean, you did and phenomenal throughout the entire video, but just what do you got to say? Honestly, uh, it was it was a great experience. And then like, I, I don't getting to know like a bunch of these newer designers that I haven't like really heard of. Um, being, I've been in this community for so long, I think Vortec can relate with this is that uh, we were kind of blasted away from like the talent that these kids were displaying. And then just in general, like the whole experience has been really cool. Unfortunately, I mean, I lost, but hey, do you like, don't, don't get me wrong for like the other contestants. Vortec was like my only guy that was like, that's my competition. Oh, okay. I'm glad you guys got to go for it. Yo, you guys did freaking phenomenal. But with that being said, that is the end of our episode here for Design Royale Logo Edition. And uh, that's all I got for you guys. So, of course, enjoy. Don't forget to watch episode one where we did graphic design. And uh, maybe episode three can be, I'm not going to say it, but it could be something cool too. But, hey, I'm done. Sesso HQ out. You have to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking proud of guys later. Much love. And uh, don't forget to check out George in the description down below, our co-host slash guest. Uh, great guy. And also, make sure you guys follow all the designers in the description down below too. And, uh, of course, our winner, Vortex. Talk to you guys later. Peace.